Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. for this lightweight fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup here. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical coming in here tonight. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Hernandez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, USA, Iron! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Inside the octagon, round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he's won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight, they'll try to keep the winning streak and the knockout streak still intact. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big knee lands to the body. Boy, Ty Plum. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to burn the gas tank for a long time. A couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Let's go, do something. How fast? The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Anik. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Get my hand. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 25 total strikes have landed for Alexander Hernandez. Battling for hooks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nice, sneaky head kick. You don't really stand after you take. 
take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Boom! Big jab. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Seconds to go here in round one. Head kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Takedown defense holds up. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling. Oh! Ooh, diving damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you swept him right there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. This big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, in there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what. Judges' scorecards clearly winning the fight, and largely has got to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Yo, wow! That was nasty. What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. <laughs> so, a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. First buffer with the official the decision. It's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I didn't even take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. Plugging out.